I get this question quite often. How can we play PKG files in the latest version of Shad PS4? Well, keep watching. Let me guide you through how this can be done. We're busy, but people need help. And I'd rather be doing something than waiting around for somebody else to fix things, you know? Now your first option is to download a previous version of Shad PS4. I would suggest 0.7.0, add your PKG files, select help, check for updates, and then update. By doing so, this will download the latest version of Shad PS4 and your games that you added previously will still be available on your UI. Once the download is complete and you select OK, Shad PS4 will then shut down and reboot. And as you can see, the game is still available on my UI and I've got the latest version of Shad PS4 0.11. Now, in case you are struggling with Shad PS4, we do have a couple of videos to help you. The links are in the description. Number two. Download PKG Editor. At the time of this recording, the latest version was 0.3.1. And as usual, the link's in the description. Once downloaded, using an application like WinZip, you unzip your downloaded application. Select Extract to PKG Editor. Once unzipped, you delete the zipped folder. You then open Shad PS4, create a new folder and name it after the game you want to add to the emulator. For the purpose of this tutorial, I've labeled mine Sonic Mania. You then open your PKG folder and you launch PKG Editor. Now you may receive a Windows protected your PC pop-up. If this happens, feel free to select more info and then run anyway. Now, if you're a bit skeptical about the file that you've downloaded and you don't want to continue further, then you can simply select don't run, which means this will be the end of the installation process and you'll be unable to move ahead. Providing that you're happy to move ahead, you then select file, open and locate your PKG file and then select export to GP4 project. You then locate your newly created folder and select save. Once completed, select OK and then you can close the application. You can then relaunch Shad PS4. Once launched, you select file, boot game, navigate to your newly created folder and select the eBoot file. This will then boot your game. So as you can see, the game looks good and runs smooth. So guys, if you found this video useful, please feel free to like and subscribe. And until next time, have a good one.